once again, that's the sounder. The sounder for interesting ideas. My name is Stan Houston, and uh, these are more than interesting times. You know, it's ironic, but uh, I'm trying to collect these sounders. And the sounders in uh, the old-fashioned traditional radio, which we're kind of copying, it was a way of saying, hey, <laughs> whatever you're doing, wake up, pay attention, this is important. And so uh, perhaps uh, we need to have a little more sounders in our world, uh, people who would say, wake up, pay attention, this is important. Well, I truly believe it is important. So uh, if you'll just give me a few minutes for this program called Interesting Ideas, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the state of our, not of our union, perhaps the state of our shop, maybe even the state of our soul program is Interesting Ideas, and it begins right now. And we are back. Now, one of the reasons I'm going to be very, very specific today, I'm also going to do right off the bat a little of shameless self-promotion. This is one of the reasons podcasting is powerful and unique and something that you need to be aware of in your life, your business, your organization, whatever great cause you have. You see, right now we are in crisis times with the war, and right now I'm reaching out to a number of my friends, and uh, a number of them actually are Ukrainian. And I'm saying, you can be on the radio. We can have an internet radio program for Ukrainians, for people interested. We could put on a whole series of programs that uh, you could produce. We could put them on the post for you, and they would be worldwide accessible, and we can do it practically right now, immediately. In fact, if you would call me and say, we need to be on the air with the program, I would say, that's fine. Uh, let's see if we can put a couple hours together and uh, we can have you on the radio. Perhaps even if you want to put it on my platform rather than your own platform, we could have you on there almost immediately. So that's the possibility and that's why everybody, every business should have exactly the same kind of little setup that I have right here in an office building with a number of very fine businesses. Here I am, and I simply say to them, anytime you need a video program, a video promo, whatever you need in terms of audio or visual, we can do it for you. We can do it here. We can do it right now, and it can be on the World Wide Web and all of the social media and all of the almost a hundred, but really it comes down to about seven or eight major uh, podcast platforms. And uh, anybody anywhere in the world with a computer or a tablet or a smartphone can hear your message. And so that's part of our shameless self-promotion, but it's vital right now for many, many people who need to get their message out, get a world out, to reach out to an audience that cares about what is going on. So why don't you reach out to me at stan at witradio.net. That's stan at witradio.net. And check us out just there at witradio.net. I don't have real good news because uh, things are not going well. And so I'm simply going to ask you to think about this idea, which came to me, and uh, I'd like you to respond to it. Perhaps say, what should we do about it? I was looking for a word that would describe some of the things that are going on. And um, I read an article by a young man named, named Jeff Hainan, uh, kind of a young entrepreneur who's also involved very much in entrepreneurial ministry and things of the spirit and he gave me the first word and uh, I picked up the rest here it is adrift right now everything is adrift where are we going what's going to happen 
what should we do? We are really, <laughs> whether, you know, like we talk about, you're in a boat without any motor, without any paddles, and you're just sitting there, dead in the water, going wherever the breeze or the drift might take you. We are all adrift right now. Many organizations are adrift. I would say in many cases, the incredible mistakes that have been made and the incredible uh, consequences that are going to have to be paid, we are politically and morally and spiritually very much adrift. Adrift. And I just simply want you to think about that word. I uh, have two or three friends right now who, uh, they're very good people. But they are in the midst of right now, as he said, Stan, I really don't know what to do. You know, I, uh, I, I closed down this project and uh, moved on, and uh, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I, I, I've never been this way before. I'm saying, you're adrift. And he said, yeah, I guess I kind of am adrift. And what do we do? Well, <laughs> that's what I would like, first of all, for all of us to realize that that's where a lot of you are, where your customers are, your colleagues are, many of the organizations are, and certainly I would say simply the leadership of many of the organizations, including our governments in the world, they don't know what to do. They are men and women primarily without conviction, without clarity, without courage, and uh, they don't know what to do either. They'll pretend, and they'll uh, put on a show, and they'll try and fool us, but uh, they are adrift. Okay, what does that lead to? Well, it leads to the, the second word, and that's another A word, anxiety. Now, anxiety is sometimes worse than being afraid, <laughs> another A word. But there are a lot of people who are afraid. But you see, part of the uh, good thing about being afraid is there's a good chance you know what it is you are afraid of. And perhaps you can deal with it. You, you know what there is that is fearful out there. You may not know what to do with it, or you might not know how to handle it. But being afraid of something means that you have some idea of what you're afraid of. But... It could be so many things coming together that the way you live is right now, you are just not only adrift, you are anxious. You suffer from real anxiety. And uh, fear sometimes can, you know, we say he was frozen with fear or scared to death. But anxiety tends to not do that to us. What it tends to do to us, it tends to make us small, smaller, smaller in courage, smaller in creativity, smaller in all the qualities that make life worth living and make life something that we can aspire to achieve and create. Anxiety. Fear kills everything. Anxiety just helps us, causes us to slowly die. Well, what's the last? Well, unfortunately, many people are alone. What we have done with this COVID stuff, which we are now discovering, was in many, many cases certainly overdone, uh, wrongly done, certain too long done. Um, it caused us to withdraw. We were told to socially distance. Now just think about that. Pull yourself away from other people. Don't go anywhere. Don't meet with anybody. Just stay by yourself. I've come to the conclusion because I had to deal with it, but probably one of the worst things we did, particularly those of us who are people of faith, is we stopped going to church, and we stopped singing. Remember? That's not good. <laughs> Coming together, even though there might be some danger in it, but I would uh, dare to suggest 
that perhaps there would have been, in many, many cases, a sense of divine providence that would have protected us more than we thought. It doesn't mean we're careful, but it does mean we're courageous. And so maybe that was a mistake. And I know the prohibiting of singing was a bad mistake. Singing is good for you. Singing helps you breathe well. Singing brings out the spirit in you. Singing is good for society. It is good for all of us. Music does more than soothe. In many cases, it inspires and heals and connects. We should have been back at our worshiping and singing much sooner. As I said in one of my presentations, uh, I'm for sure, <laughs> for Lent, I'm giving up the mask, for sure. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to try and live not only, <laughs> live not only uh, uh, normally, but I'm going to try and live extraordinary. Oftentimes we speak of giving up something for Lent, and I'm going to say, what are you going to take on for Lent? When you kind of walk with the Master, what are you going to take on? So, how are we going to deal with the aloneness? Well, each and every one of us are called to be creative right now, and that is, in the midst of the mess that we're in, and it may not have been of our making. In the midst of the mess we're in, how are we going to find God's special wisdom, purpose, power, and direction? Seeking God's wisdom is what we have to do, and more important, it's something we have to do right now. I'm Stan Houston. The program is Interesting Ideas. We invite you to join us at that uh, juncture of life, being interesting people with interesting ideas, and most importantly, we're interested in the well-being of others. That's the program. That's a bit of the message, but I'll be right back. Yes, here we go. Finish up. Think about that. Adrift, anxious, and alone. What do we do about that? How can we help others deal with that? I would encourage to to uh, write to me. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Stan Houston at gmail.com. Say, Stan, I've got a few ideas. Now, what I'm also discovering is this. You may not think you have interesting ideas, but here's what I've discovered. People who are interested in others and who are interesting in themselves, they have ideas. They just don't know how to say them. If you just tell your story, what you will discover is that somebody will find something very interesting and very helpful and very useful and very practical in just hearing your story. You are a man, you are a woman, you are created in the very image of God, and you are full of it. You are full of good things, good stories, good advice, good counsel and wisdom. Just tell it. Just tell the story and listen. And I guess what? <laughs> You'll be uh, able to share for other people many interesting ideas. So once again, Stan Houston at gmail.com. Uh, Recommend this program to others. Uh, raise your hand and ask to be on the program. Audition to be on the program. And most importantly, everybody right now needs a platform to demonstrate their wisdom, insight, and truth. And today, one of the best platforms you can have for that is you can be on the radio. 
What It Takes Radio will help you do what it takes for you to have your own radio message, your own radio station, and your radio way to reach out to your audience. You have an audience. Make sure you're reaching them and touching them and teaching them and being in tune with them and even listening to them. That's the message for this Monday. All the best and blessings to you. And uh, we will indeed press on. We are called to be not just people who conquer. We are to be people who are more than conquerors for good things and good ways. Best and blessings, we pray for the hundreds, thousands, and millions of people who are suffering, who are in great danger because of this terrible war. And we pray that there will be a huge movement of the Prince of Peace and that literally the war will come to an end and it will come to an end soon. Best and blessings to you. Bye for now. 